look like Milo Thatch's grandma. Ah. My neighbors are having housework or yard work done right now. So you may just continuously hear the gentle rumblings of a truck. Later. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hi. So after a week off, I'm back. This week I just felt like doing a cozy, chatty video because I haven't done that in a while. Uh, especially not a get ready with... What is talk? I haven't done a get ready with me. I haven't done a get ready with me in a long time, mainly because uh, life ain't all that interesting right now and I don't really do much. Uh, I just got back from a camping trip. Fall is coming up, the best time of the year. Today, for a final look, I've had the idea that I wanted to do like a final ode to summertime kind of look. Pretty similar to what I did last year with my like pumpkin spice thing summer version natural type makeup but dark brows maybe some freckles and some like you know bronzed cheeks and then we have some ferns that grow out front so i'm gonna pick a few of those and then somehow attach them to my body i figured i could talk a little bit about my camping trip my little, my little vacation some plans that maybe might happen in the next couple months talk about maxoween i guess we can get started now before I start doing my makeup, we do have a sponsor for today's video. So to talk about that, let's head over to sponsor Rachel. Oh hi! So yes, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. So Function of Beauty is mainly hair care products, but they are also branching out into body lotions and that kind of stuff. And so basically what you do is you go on their website and you fill out a quick two minute quiz specifying what kind of hair you have, what you're looking for, your goals in your shampoo and conditioner, and then that gives you kind of your own hair profile. So this is mine. From there, you can also choose the color, the fragrance, and the name that you want to put on it. My little bottle says Functional Rachel and it's so cute. There are no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free. I notice a huge, huge difference when I use their stuff versus just the cheapo brands that I tend to pick up from the grocery store. So I had just received my two new bottles. Okay, well, where were we? Like I was saying, I just received my two new bottles from them. I was nervous because I only had one wash before I was filming this video, and I was concerned that, you know, you wouldn't be able to tell how nice it makes my hair. Honestly, even after just one wash, it was way shinier and way healthier looking. And also they come with stickers. Need I say more? Nice. Just. Super shiny. Wow. I also really, really love their hair masks and their leave-in treatments. I tend to use those when I feel like my hair is especially dry and just needs like a little bit of zhuzhing. That is Function of Beauty. If you click the link down in the description, you can get 20% off of your first order. Thank you so much, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring this video. Without further ado, let's get right back to it although it's sort of less of a transition now that we're just going from me to me in the same room, but here we go. Welcome back. So yeah, okay. Glasses off. <sighs> we just got back from our camping trip two days ago. <sighs> what is time? We went from Tuesday to Sunday and we went up to Maine. Nick's uncle has a cabin that he built up there, so once in a while we will go up there and camp with his family. So we did that with our camper. It was really nice. I got zero service, so my phone was shut off 98% of the time, which honestly was pretty nice. And I ended up missing um, the 500,000 mark. I didn't find out until after I came back. And by the way, thank you for 500,000. <laughs> I feel like I need to do a celebratory jig. Here you go. <laughs> That was just for you. <laughs> oh, 
So sorry if I seem a little like scatterbrained. I feel like the past few months it's been really hard for me to kind of gather my thoughts and I've been forgetting words. It's just been a grand old time. I'm done with this. Why am I still going? To be honest, big part of why I feel so anxious lately has to do with my phone. So I think shutting it off was just like a really nice escape and I didn't have to worry about checking anything, replying to emails or anything. I could just zone out, eat blueberry themed items. <laughs> so the first few days it was me and Nick in our camper and then his dad and his nephew and then of course his uncle, aunts, cousins up the hill. So our nephew Henry kept his company a lot of the time and you know, that was nice. It's nice to talk to kids sometimes, you know? Adults can be so boring. Sometimes it's just nice to have a discussion about Harry Potter spells. Because we can do brows. I am due for a shaving of the tails of my eyebrows, so I'm gonna do that. I feel like whenever I mention doing this, I always get a lot of judgy comments. Um, <laughs> but I don't care. Good thing that what I choose to do with my eyebrows literally does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Where's that tea? Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go dark, thick brows. So yeah, we did some hiking. One of the days we went to Acadia National Park. I donned my best adventuring Lara Croft outfit. Spent the day doing that, which was really nice. And also a bit weird, of course, with the climate of everything that's going on right now. Everyone was wearing masks. You wear a mask to pass people, and then you get to your little spot take it off, put it back on whenever you're passing people. It's a weird, weird time we're living in. I'll be completely honest, I don't mind it too much. I kind of like the comfort of wearing a mask. I would rather there not be a pandemic happening, but I don't know, I kind of like hiding half of my face. One thing you may not know about me is that I am deathly afraid of heights in a weird way. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave one eyebrow done while I'm talking about this because Oh, my fear of heights is very specific where I'm okay on like roller coasters and even, what's that called? Wow, this is what I'm talking about, forgetting words. What's that called? It's like a wire and you, you hold on to the thing. Is my brain broken? Oh, I have to ask Nick what that word is. You hold on to the thing and zip you go line? zip line. You got one eyebrow. I know, Nick. I know I got one eyebrow. <laughs> Zip lining. It's a mess up here. <laughs> Zip lining I'm okay with. I think it's when it comes down to trusting your own two feet is when I get the heebie-jeebies and my legs will literally start like wobbling and very jello-y and my instinct is to kind of just, I will demonstrate. My instinct is to do this. Acadia is kind of known for the cliffs. So that was interesting, but I will say, this is my testament to uh, dressing in a way that makes you feel good and happy and confident. The fact that I was dressed as Lara, it actually helped me with my fear of heights, which is really freaking weird, but it worked. So yeah, pro tip. Although there was a point where I was on the edge of this kind of like chasm and it looked down into a little cove and I was okay. I wasn't super close to the edge because I'm not crazy. But across the way, Nick and Frodo were right against the edge because he's insane. And so he was kind of like leaning over. Frodo was right up against the edge and I just had a moment of like panic. Seeing him do that made my legs go wobbly. <laughs> anyway, do I have any fun anecdotes? Not really. I saw a porcupine. I also found it super cozy to head back to our camper every night. It's kind of like your own like home base. Speaking of trips in our camper, originally had planned that we were gonna go to Iceland in March. Now, obviously that didn't happen. In March, we rescheduled it to September and now I don't think that's gonna happen either, which is fine. I kind of knew that that was gonna happen. So instead of Iceland, we were thinking that it would be really fun to start thinking about a cross-country road trip. 
because we have our camper, we wouldn't need to stay anywhere. We wouldn't need to stay in a hotel or Airbnb. So in a way, it's kind of like the safest way that we could be traveling. It's just something that we've always wanted to do. And I feel like the fact that we can't fly anywhere, this is kind of the perfect opportunity to do that. I don't know the first thing about traveling that far. I feel like it's something that we are gonna keep saying, yeah, let's do it, yeah, let's do it, yeah, let's do it. And then we actually won't end up doing it because it's a lot of planning. I don't know where we would end up. I would personally like to end up in Portland and see like the coastline there because I've always loved those giant rocks and then come back maybe lower so I could see some like desert. I don't know. If any of you have taken a trip across the United States, please let me know some tips and tricks. But I just think that would be something really nice to look forward to. And I feel like if I have any tips for kind of surviving this quarantine, it's that I've been finding it really helpful to give yourself something to look forward to, even if it's not as significant as most people would think. For example, our camping trip was something I was looking forward to. And if we were to do the road trip, that would be something I would be looking forward to. Even if it's as simple as we're gonna get delicious food on this day of the week, have a movie night, really little things like that. I think especially with fall and Halloween coming up. Some of you may have been here since last year, but last year was my first year doing 13 days of Maxoween. It's a stupid name, but it's all I could come up with at the time, so here we are. And so basically that means in October, this year I think it works out perfectly, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I do a different Halloween spooky makeup look or cosplay look. Some of the looks will end up being videos on here, but most of it will just be over on ye old Instagram. It was a lot of work and a lot of planning, but I learned that I kind of work best when I'm under really, really tight deadlines. So having to finish almost a full look three times a week was definitely the push that I needed. And I was finding myself getting really, really excited to share them and to show people because I was excited about them. I just like showing people what I make. So yeah, I'm doing that again this year. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my makeup thing because I feel like I should be doing makeup, but I'm not. So I'm gonna bronze up the tops of my cheek and nose to make it look a sun-kissed. I am giving myself more time this year to plan things out and work on things, mostly because last year it was kind of a split decision at the very end of September that I was gonna do this. So I have all 13 of my looks planned out. I have started ordering things. Another idea that I had for Maxoween was at the very end of it to have a virtual Halloween party because I know Halloween parties are, you know, mostly not a thing this year. It would be fun to give people a reason to dress up because I feel like unless you have somewhere to wear your costume to, a lot of times there's not a lot of motivation there. I just want everybody to be spooky and fun. But I also have no idea how I would do that. <laughs> Someone mentioned like a Zoom thing. I've used Zoom once. I would love to bring in other people and kind of have like a massive virtual chat where people can show off their costumes. I'm nosy and I love seeing what people are working on and their costumes and that kind of stuff. So selfishly, that's why I would like to do it as well. Is that sun-kissed enough? Hello? Sure. And some freckles. What else? Okay. <laughs> One thing I think I might do this week, start looking around for a studio space. There's a place about like 20 to 30 minutes away from me that before this all happened, I was seriously looking into, but you have to kind of call to inquire about it. And needless to say, <laughs> that was enough for me to put it off long enough until it wasn't an option anymore. Maybe I should just suck it up and call. One of the major events that made me think this was the great acrylic spill of 2020, which happened last week. I don't know exactly how I would make that work yet, because obviously I do like filming in my living room. It's easier, generally more cozy than a studio space would be, but I think for the sewing heavy, fabric heavy, really making videos, I would really enjoy a big studio space to help with organization, not leaving my living room a gigantic mess <laughs> in between days. I feel like lighting would really be a lot nicer because it's so dark in here all the time. But yeah, I still have some research to do. I'm sorry, I have so much spit in my mouth all the time.
I just feel like as my channel kind of grows and evolves, sometimes you have to evolve with it and I think a studio space would really, really help. I'm mostly gonna keep the eyes bare for this, but I do just, I'm just gonna add a little bit of dimension here. Oh no. You know what's been really frustrating lately? I feel like now more than ever, and maybe it's because I'm in my house all the time, I feel like my eyelashes aren't doing their job. I'm just gonna throw that out there because I almost always have some sort of hair in my eye and I can never get it, but I can feel it. Are eyelashes supposed to protect against that? Why are you even here? Speaking of um, my channel, we did hit 500,000, which is nuts. I feel like right now I'm in just a good headspace with YouTube. I think it's taken a while for me to get here. I'm finally just kind of content with where we are. From now on, anything else is just kind of extra because um, I think there's a lot less pressure I'm putting on myself. I feel like the videos I'm putting out are reaching kind of a base number of views that I'm happy with. I feel like it's a really kind of tight-knit little community. Would I like the channel to grow more? Yes, but I'm not, you know, I don't feel so much pressure from myself anymore. If we ever do reach a million, that's great, but you know, I'm happy with where we are and I love you guys and I'm um, just, you know, just thank you for watching me. I don't know why you do, but I'm thankful for it. I'll put some mascara on, I guess. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of the same blush that I used, which is the Cream Rouge from Besame. I need some more. And I'm gonna put that on my lips. So, <laughs> Sande Flor, who are amazing and ever so gracious, sent over a couple dresses. And they also included some of this chocolate. Rye bread, rhubarb, and honey. So it's like bougie chocolate. And it's a little alarming <laughs> when you eat it. It's like savory. It's really doing a number on my taste buds, but I'm gonna keep eating it because it's chocolate. <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention, I guess we can talk about while I start taking my hair down. So one thing I have started to do, inspired by um, my favorite boys, Arthur Morgan from Red Dead and Nathan Drake from Uncharted 4, start keeping a travel journal. I ended up buying this beautiful hand-bound book from Etsy. And then I bought this thing, which is my new favorite thing in the whole world, a traveling watercolor kit these slide out colors, eh? and then <laughs> this is the brush. And it's just this tube, but you put water in it. And so when you squeeze it, it saturates the tip of the brush. So one of the days we went down into this little cove water area and we just kind of sat there and I painted and it was really, really peaceful and nice. And it made me feel like Bob Ross. <laughs> My little drawing, which is impossible to see. I want to start doing that for every trip we go on. Photos are all well and good, but I think every time I would look at these, I would remember the experience of painting it, and I feel like that's more tangible, I guess, than the feeling of, oh, I remember when I took that photo. So that's my plan, especially if we go on the cross-country trip. I think that would be really nice. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. I felt like I had so much to talk about until I started filming, and then it all just gone. Oof, okay, that's not coming out. Hello? How are you guys faring? Oh good, they're having their lunch break in my yard. How you doing, boys? Want some chocolate? Yeah, how, how are you? Do we need a hug? I'll give you a hug. Oh yes, here it comes. Okay, are oh, yeah. Mm. Things are wild, and I've been better. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's been a little tough. Obviously, I'm so grateful that I can still do this and I still have a job. Job-wise, a lot of things haven't changed, but it has been a little tough to film um, because obviously all I want to do is just curl up in a ball and wait until this whole thing is over, but I cannot do that. So <laughs> even on days where I don't feel like filming, just to kind of put on a smiling face and pretend that everything is okay, it's getting a little easier. I feel a little bit better today because fall is coming up and because I have all these projects that I'm super excited for. It's really gonna suck when I finish brushing my hair and I'm ready to go get the ferns in my front yard and I have to walk by all these uh, tough looking men on their lunch break. Don't mind me, <laughs> gathering my ferns.
Mm. I look like a sheepdog. I know this video is actually sponsored by Function of Beauty, but like, come on. Look how shiny. Wow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just roundhouse kicked your butt. I sorry. I think this just about does it for the makeup look. I'll check in in a little bit. See if we can do this. I've got a headband that I think I can make work. Theoretically, we can just stuff these babies in here. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm doing. Just, just keep adding it. Put a fern on it. Sure. Yes. Good enough. Let's take this photo, shall we? This is this. It's a little bit more messy and definitely more hobbity than I was going for, but whatever. I just mostly felt like playing around, you know, sticking some plants on my head and taking photos of it. I've just been having a lot of fun with making content. Sometimes I put a little bit too much pressure on myself to always be putting out crazy intense new creative ideas for content and I tend to forget that sometimes it's just nice to sit down and not every video has to be groundbreaking. I think if I were to continue on that trajectory I would burn myself out really quick and I think that's maybe why I'm feeling a little burnt out. just want to do a relaxed kind of no pressure video and catch you guys up with what I've been up to which isn't much. It is almost September and that means Halloween time can begin. Starting next week I'm going to try to start pumping out some autumn content and I'm really excited. So here is my final goodbye to the summer season. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload. Feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday. And we have fun here. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oop, oop, okay. One of the perks of naming your pets after fictional characters, pre-made merch. This week, so yeah, what do we do? So, I have a video accompanying accompanying, accompanying. Pastry? Mm -hmm. My camera's overheating. How long do you think their lunch break is? Eat your sandwiches a little faster, boys, please. It's a little more. Oh, construction guys are looking at me. Stop it! Just a girl in her sunroom, okay? Talking about shampoo and conditioner. I can literally hear your whole conversation. Just tone it down.